Hi beauties, it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper and it's time for another Global Stampers. This month we are all doing packaging. So I will make sure to put all the other um, collaborators in the description with their links and you can click on those links to go um, visit other stampers from around the world and see what packaging they've done. So I am going way back to the old sour cream um, containers. I don't know, maybe you may or may not remember those, but I'm gonna be using the Unbounded Love. It's a brand new set, just went live today. So the new catalog is out and you can now order. So if you are in the United States, I would be your demonstrator, and um, I also have another demonstrator in the United States, uh, Mimi Takahara, and she'll be doing hers as well. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I'm using the whole bundle. So I've got the Love Unbounded Love dies. There we go. Uh, if you are not in the United States, make sure you find your demonstrator that I'll have listed down below if you are in need of a demonstrator from anywhere around the world. I'm also going to be using the Flowers of Beauty. I'm going to be using these two here, these two here, and this set of leaves. And I'm just remembering that I forgot one of my stamps that I was going to be using and it's this one here. I'm also going to be using the dies that go with it. I love that Stampin' Up! uses the uh, dies there. So they match perfectly and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get out my Whisper White, uh, basic white, <laughs> thick and we're gonna go ahead and stamp. Now this is the designer series paper. It's a six by six, and that's what we'll be using to make our packaging. And right now we're just making our pieces to decorate the packaging. I'm using three new in colors that again, just went live today. Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, and then the old uh, color Pretty Peacock, which is beautiful. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take this one here and we're gonna use that Summer Splash. So we just ink that up and we're gonna put that down just like that. We are then going to take our Pretty Peacock And I'm now done with the Summer Splash. And with the Pretty Peacock, we're gonna take the outline of those leaves. And line them up the best that you can there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just the best that you can. So there we go. And then we're going to put that pretty peacock away because I'm going to be using this guy and we're going to do that in a petunia pop. Again, looking at the designer series paper right here, kind of going along with what they have here and then they have some uh, here with the pink background. That's what I'm going for with this one. So we've got the Petunia Paw. And we're going to put that on there. And then I want, since I have the Petunia Pop out, I'm also going to get this flower here. And we'll put that flower down in that petunia pop as well. Now, moving on, 
I'm going to get, oh, I forgot another stamp. Oh my goodness, what am I thinking here? All right, I'm going to get out one more stamp. I think I'm done with my Petunia Pop. And yes, we're going to get, no, I did get it out. No, I did not get it out. Where? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's this little one, and this is the leaves to color in those leaves. So I'm going to go here, and I also use the Hello from the Un Unbounded Love, but since I need um, a block, I'm going to use that. And we're going to go in with the Pretty in Pink. And for this one, I'm going to ink that up, but then I'm going to just stamp off. And I'm just going to stamp off right there because um, I'm not going to need that piece. And then I'm going to stamp, and you see you get that light color there. All right. So one more thing to stamp. Oh, we need to stamp the inside here. And just looking to see where this would go, kind of finding it. And this one I'm not stamping off because I want it to be nice and bright. Pretty nice there. And then from the Unbounded Love, they've got all these great dies. So I went ahead and put that through my die uh, cutter, and this is what I have. And you guys, they make a border. So you can use this, you could use this, you could use both, and we're gonna use both today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out, since I already have the pink out, we're gonna get that hello. I'm just gonna line it up there. And we've got our hello. All right, I've got all our stamping done. And we already have sent this through. We're then going to take this guy here. He's gonna go here. This one here is going to go right there. And then we've got this one here, and he's going to go right in here. And then I'm going to send it through the uh, stamp cut and emboss machine, and they're going to come out just like this. So we have all of our pieces. And then I also have a little bow, and I'm using the, the white from the Combo Pack, Diagonal Trim Combo Pack. It's got petal pink and it's got white. So it's got both of those colors in there, but I'm gonna be using the white. So now that I have all that, we're gonna make our little sour cream um, container. And I'm just going to use our tear and tape. And I'm going to put that across one edge. And it is tear and tape, so I could just tear it off no problem. And then I'm going to get my take your pick tool, because you know me, I use my take your pick tool all the time and we are going to take this and roll it around there and get it on the edge to edge so this is the trickiest part I just try and line up this edge here with that edge and then roll it And there we go. So it's not sticky in the inside. And now you've got this tube. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to pinch the end of this tube. And I am going to use my paper uh, trimmer here, but I'm only going to score. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to go in a quarter of an inch. And I'll do that there. And it pinches that side a little bit. But then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go completely opposite. Right? And we're going to pinch that side as well. We're going to go a quarter of an inch. And so, there we go. So we've got those two sides. Now, we put them together. Now you can use tear and tape, you can use a glue, whatever you'd like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put tear and tape right here. Like that going to do the same thing. I'm going to put tear and tape right here. And don't be afraid that it's on the um, score line because we are going to score that over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take another piece of tear and tape. We're going to put that right on the inside there. And it doesn't have to be the whole length. It just has to be a little piece there. And so we're going to put that. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult. In fact, you know what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to get out our little tool here. It's for embossing. But I feel, yes, I feel that it's, it'll make it easier. Getting that nice and straight on there, as straight as possible. <laughs> and then once you get one side in, you can get the other side in as well. And now I'm just going to pull that out. So if you could see that piece in there, and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Just again, a little piece. Unless you're having like really tiny pieces that this is going to hold on to, then you don't really need to worry about the... I'm going to try real quick on my own just to see if I can get this. I feel... Yes, okay. So, tape here, tape here, tape here, and tape there. So we're going to do our first one, and we're going to take that tape off the inside and then we're going to pinch those together just like that and then you're going to take this side here and take that part off going to fold that on that creased line just like that. So now you've got this side and then this side goes opposite. So what you're going to do at this point, you're going to put your um, gift inside here. So whatever your gifts may be, it could be a roll of washi tape, it could be anything that you want and then you're going to close it up. It could be a gift card. Gift cards will fit in there as well. I believe we're going to try this just to make sure. Oh, maybe it doesn't because it only wants to go halfway. So, but you can put um, some candies in there. Let's see how many different things we could put. 
put this in there? Oh yeah. We can put some glue in there. Um, whatever kind of gifts you want to give. Money. Money always works, right? Or you can have little M&Ms. Any type of anything in there. So, then what you're going to do is you're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take off that middle. Glue that down. And then you're going to take off this side. Again, where the crease is, you're going to fold that over. And you've got a great little package there. So now we've got that package and we are going to go ahead and um, put everything together. So I've got all our pieces here. And I'm going to get out my multi-purpose glue. And we're going to add some glue on here. So as you can see, you guys, I am using um, a lot of the in colors. So I'm going to just put this on here. Now I did put glue everywhere, which was my downfall because some of it is not going to be touching. So I'm just putting this on here. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same with these guys. And we're gonna put some here. And it's okay that it's sticking off. I do not mind that at all. Same here. We're gonna put that right under here and then I am going to take this little guy we're going to put this around here and I'm going to stick this right down here just like that and again whatever sticks sticks I'm not too worried about pieces being off like that I think it'll look great but I am going to pop that out of that so let's go ahead we're gonna get some dimensionals I'm gonna put two dimensionals because I do want these to stick and I do want them to pop out Stick that right in here, just like that, and you do see that it sticks out of that. Oh, this needs to be glued a little. Oh no, we got it. We got it. Perfect. And then I'm going to put our little bow on here and I'm going to use a um, glue dot here. These glue dots I've gotten over the years from my paper pumpkins. I have so many glue dots. If you're a paper pumpkin subscriber in the United States, you're going to have lots of glue dots. So, what I was going to say is I'm using these in colors, you guys. There is an awesome sign-up special right now where it's only $99 and you are going to get $125 worth of merchandise that you get to choose on your own. Plus, you're going to get all five of the in color. Let me grab them. Ooh. All five of the in color stamp pads. You're going to get all five of the stamp in color markers. You are going to get some designer series paper. You guys are going to get some amazing stuff. It's over $208 worth of stuff for 
only $99 plus tax. You'll get free shipping, and then you get to choose $125 worth of stuff. So I hope you guys like this. I will put links again down below for um, everything that I've mentioned. I've done a join me special link on there in case you wanted to join the Stamping Beauties team. And of course, I'm using again, Flowers of Beauty and Unbounded Love. If you are interested in replicating this and using the Unbounded Love designer series paper. But I think this is adorable, a great packaging. You can put earrings in here. So many things can go in here. And I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out all the other um, global stampers. Give them big thumbs ups. And thank you for joining me. I will see you again soon. And happy May. Bye.